Welcome to TalkAboutTopeka.com. I'm Chris Schultz. On this episode, we'll sit down and talk with Nancy Johnson, Executive Director of CRC, or the Community Resources Council in Topeka. This episode was brought to you by the WIBW channels, and it starts right now. We're here in the studio with Nancy Johnson, the Executive Director of Community Resources Council. Thank you for joining us, Nancy. Thank you for having me. You know, uh, people hear CRC, Community Resources Council. What exactly is CRC and what do you guys do? Well, Chris, we're 87 years old. That's how long we've been in the community. 87 years. 87 years. And we kind of came out of a community chest and we were the agency that kind of pulled all the social services around and looked at what could be done um, as a whole mm -hmm. versus um, this social service doing that and this social service doing that. And as we evolved, then we became much more of a research organization. Oh. And then um, there was a little thing called Google that came into play. I have you heard remember? of that before. Yeah, I I'm, kind I of familiar. remember that too. Yeah. Yeah. And um, people could Google stuff faster than it would take them to call CRC. So uh, about four and a half years ago, um, um, they were looking for a new executive director. Jim Olson had been there for um, about 30 years, mm -hmm. and he had some health issues and wanted to resign. And so I um, have a background in strategic planning and marketing and was very interested in it. And so basically, uh, we started to really look at what CRC was. Yeah. And so for the first six months of my job, um, I went out and asked community members. When Community Resource Council, when, when the words are said, what comes to your mind? And I was amazed at the number of people who had never heard of me or heard of it, and, um, but had heard of Jim Olson. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. we had a, a name out there, but they weren't sure what Community Resources Council did. And I had been on the board before, and I wasn't real sure what Community Resources did. We had many, many meetings and decided we would kind of shift our paradigm to go into more of a business model, and the business would be promoting nonprofits. The CRC brings together people that might not have come together to look at a problem. Sure. We advocate. Um, we, we really try to be for the city and the county and state and federal saying, you know, what would happen if this social service went away? What would mm -hmm. happen if this nonprofit went away? We do research. Um, we, we are putting out our 2012 community resource directory. will be up online um, this cool. week. Cool. Um, we're really excited about this. This is an incredible publication that um, just has all the resources that you don't need, think you need until you need them. And thanks, we have some sustainer members, um, Brown versus Board, Ralph Crummins, um, USD 501, and their foundation, Harvesters, Brewster Place, and I knew I was going to forget them. That's quite a collaboration. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> and they have all gotten together and, and said, you know, this is very, very important to be up on there and so um and a real quick real quick aside it's going to be online mm -hmm. so where do people find it crcnet.org crcnet.org all right wonderful good stuff you know i tell you before you've given me an explanation of what's going on here i i think crc or community resources council uh, conjured up images of communities and resources and councils. Right. And I think that now you've put a pretty good light on uh, on what's right. going on. Well, That's and wonderful. the fourth thing we do is educate. How do you educate? Like what, what kind of... Oh, um, we talk about um, what are the worst mistakes you can make as an HR person because many of our agencies are very small. So yeah. we're looking at all the various factors um, that make up this social service, be it board members, um, your executive directors, your CFOs your person answers the phone. Wow. And so it's just kind of a, a trickle-down effect to right. make the world a better place. Right. You know? Exactly. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, so what's on the horizon for you guys? Do you have any uh, any big plans? Well, of course, we're going into budget now with city and county. So um, we're trying to, to go before the city and county and really let them know this is a very bad economic time right now. When um, somebody gets laid off, we then become the business that they go to. If it be yeah. emergency um, um, housing or emergency food, the resources, we have to be very careful that they don't dry, dry up. 
We are very, very lucky to have the nonprofits in this town that we have. I mean, you look at Topeka Rescue Mission, HCCI, um, Vallejo, um, Let's Help, Harvesters. Uh, they were our other sponsor. I mean, they're they're unbelievable. It's a community that comes through for you when you really need it. Exactly. It's there. And and again, you know, you think, oh, you just handle the person that's on the street. We really don't. I mean, mm -hmm. we have another number of people right now that are becoming homeless because of foreclosures or medical reasons and things like that. Yeah. And all of a sudden they need these resources and they're like, wow, I didn't know that was offered in Shawnee County. Yeah. And our job then is to connect that person with the resource because we don't offer direct services. Oh. So you call us and you say, I need housing assistance. Mm -hmm. and, and that's one thing that we're trying to do is put together this matrix so it makes it easy. So if you're, this happens to be uninsured, then we know if it's not an emergency, these are places that offer oh. the uninsured. So this too, once these are completed and signed off by, by everyone involved, then those will go up on our website too. Excellent. And making it easier for our police officers, our social service people, our fire department, um, anybody that might be in the line that says, geez, you know, I've got somebody here that need, needs yeah. food. I think it's absolutely an amazing thing that, uh, that you guys are doing. And uh, I, again, a lot of times people come on the show and, and they tell me all about this stuff. And I know people don't say thank you all the time. And I want to say thank you thank for you. all that you guys do. Um, and I, I know it, doesn't, it never hurts to hear that, you know. So you. you guys keep up the good mission. And, you know, I cannot let you go until we do... Our, uh, our lightning round. It's really an important part uh, to get to know you a little bit better here on our show. I've got the important the note cards of death right here uh, in my hands. They're really not. I, mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. not smart enough to think of that kind of stuff. So 60 seconds and go. In your opinion, what was the greatest movie ever made? Um, Wizard of Oz. Good choice. Uh, paper, rock, or scissors? With scissors. I'm sorry you lost. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I had the rock. Uh, if you could uh, bring back a dead celebrity to life and ask them a question, who would it be and what would you ask? Johnny Carson. Yeah. And I'd ask him, is Chris Schultz following you in your, in, to your shoes, in your shoes? Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking yes, but. Let's see. Uh, paper or plastic? Oh, paper. Oh, good. All right. Um, what was your favorite? What is your favorite tourist attraction in Topeka? Um, I love the Capitol. All right, good choice. Or Brown, Brown versus Board. Uh, what's for dinner tonight? Something for the game. <laughs> what time should I be there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your favorite musical group? I don't have one. Well, what about your favorite show to watch? Nine thirty-two. Uh, Nine thirty on my TV. Talk about Topeka yeah! with the Johnny Carson. Well, I'm I'm honored. <laughs> Nancy, thank you so much thank for joining you us. So much. Please come back and keep us updated yeah. on CRC. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Today's episode was brought to you by the WIBW channels, Kansas News Leader, except for us, of course. If you like what you see here, you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Together, we'll continue to make Topeka a great place to call home. Be sure to watch our show every Tuesday night at 9.30 on MyTV. I'm Chris Schultz, and remember, keep talking about Topeka. <laughs>